trip. It's great. Harry? It was wet. Yeah, I'm sure. Because when you bother, you took all the funny roads. It's all the stuff. Six ninety one. Hold us? I think so. All right, I'll try not Until to, it doesn't. Here, do you, wanna, do you need some more room there? Stomp and shake it. Hall of Famer, you know. Gracing our presence. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'll catch you up on uh, some of what we had for this, please, uh, please do. this uh, Tier 3 New England Regional Tournament. Ice Hawks taking the ice right now. Casco Bay will be, uh, looks like they're coming out of the dressing room. And uh, yeah, Ice Hawks have uh, a couple slow to start, but We've gotten going. They got a 3-1 win under their belt yesterday with the, uh, the Black Bears of Vermont, Central Vermont. Not that there's not Black Bears everywhere in Vermont, but the Central Vermont Black Bears. <laughs> and um, this morning uh, they took on the Manchester Flames. For which Manchester has two teams, New Hampshire 1 and 2 are both Manchester teams. So they took on are the... Are they both, both Manchester Flames teams? Like yeah. one organization? Yeah, different coaches. Don and the, the, another... Like, like A and A1 both won? Uh... Yeah, yeah. They went like... Winners and runners up in New Hampshire. And do you think they're so. even split teams or AA1 teams? Or That's a good question. A -A? I don't know, sure. I, I think they just, they just call them Manchester Dunn and Manchester LaCroix. Okay. So, um, and again, the Ice Hawks getting the better of the, uh, the Dunns of Manchester. They're kind yeah. of flamed them a little bit. 8 2. You're really quiet in here right now. Hands really running. It's like 48 degrees outside, so I, right. it would it would probably help if they had a dehumidifiers, right? When the kids were out, like there was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have we have some info here. If you're uh, so intrigued, good. good. We've been doing uh, some really good work uh, trying to put that together. Let's You've been see. doing really good work. Oh. Uh, no, not me. I, no, well, my the, the crack team in the truck and our statisticians. <laughs> we, we've we've uh, deputized a lot of people to do this work for us. Okay, good. Because we are no, no, no. I'm not. I already started uh, with the Narragansett Light, which I found out yesterday after after buying a 12 pack Narragansett Light. It's not that light. It's very light. 3.5 percent ABV. Okay. So uh, that'll be uh, the rest of what's remaining. Will be the tonight. You uh, can put it in your water bottle. I probably could. For, for game. <laughs> it might be a little frothy, but not that frothy. <laughs> yes. So, no, we don't do that, though. I get my rock and my tea from the hotel. Nice. Stay in the red roof tonight? <laughs> <laughs> the last time we made that trip, it was very rainy when I made the trip across the parking lot. That's true. I remember that. I remember that, yeah. Did I ever talk about all the dogs in the hallway? At that place. This is the New Jersey EJEPL. Where were we? Like Edison Park, or like we were somewhere somewhere down it was, in. Uh, it was like, you know, I'm not a, a tough guy, but I, I've seen a, a tiny <laughs> bit of the world, you know. And all of a sudden, I'm walking up this this stairwell at this hotel. Yeah. And I swear there was nothing behind me a second ago, and now there's a, a person with a big dog on a chain behind. Me. For real. Like a like a pit bull. like a big dog. Wow. Yeah. Okay. American like, Staffordshire Terrier. It's mm -hmm. dark, it's late, it's raining. And it was a precarious walk too because there was there was a one section there were no lights at all. You parked your car over there, you know you know that walk. You mean park the car. Yeah. You're at the Holiday Inn Express, right? Everybody's at the Holiday Inn Express? Yes. Yes. Uh, good place, Rhode, good place Rhode to Island be. Is the last place where people smoke cigarettes outside of hotels. I like I like how the hotel actually has a sign that says no smoking within 100 feet, and and like the, all kinds of people smoking. The, one of the zeros one of the zeros is not really visible, so it's like eh, it could be 10 feet. <laughs> maybe, I, when I showed 10. up, there were two guys smoking right next to that sign. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah, well played, well played, Rody. $500 uh, fee if you smoke in your uh, non-smoking room. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm gonna challenge that in court. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna cry that from my cold, dead hands. Yeah. Prematurely dead because of my smoking. Right. All right, the Casco Bay Mariners, hailing from uh, just a little uh, 
think one of the uh, southern borders is Portland, right? And the whole Casco Bay is um, helmet shaped, right? Up in Maine and is the it? Gulf of Maine. Yeah. I think right. Yeah. Portland is on the Casco Bay, right? Yeah. It's one of the one of the borders, I guess. Oh. I was reading the, their entire roster was from. Uh, what's it? Deer Island. What's it called? No. You ever, take, really? you ever take the ferry out? Yeah. Is that what's Dira, Dira, no. Deer Island. The entire roster. Really? Yeah. They got like eight uh, 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 open rinks, uh, natural rinks there. Uh, it's, just a, it's a factory. <laughs> yeah. When, when, when I don't you know about class that. Won the national championship. Uh, four of the first lines were from Deer Island. Really? I've been to Deer Isle. Deer Isle has a bridge. No, I'm thinking of a different similar. Place. What's yeah. it called? What's it, it's, 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 Isle of Ho? Um, they take the ferry out? It's a ferry, yeah. but it's um, not Deer Isle. Uh-oh. We got our tech team checking in with us. Huh? Oh, did you see the interview this morning? We got a uh, nice oh. reporter. Oh. Oh, Nolan, uh, yeah. He's here? He's here. And he's here to support his uh, older brother, Thomas, one of his older brothers. And uh, yeah, Thomas uh, had Hattie this morning. Yeah. And uh, he actually had the empty netter last, last night. And uh, just about the hardest first shot I've ever seen for empty netter. So uh, taking a page out of uh, Ridley, uh, Ridley Gregg's uh, playbook. Yep, yep. Oh, playing a little catch here. This is good. A little soft toss. Croft and. Uh, uh, it's important. You right? Know, get your reps. Uh, well, it just feels like catch. <laughs> and Shem says, I can, uh, yep. I can play monkey in the middle. Yep. Had some really good battles. We were on the glass this morning. Um, Here? Right down there. Yeah, this is, so we were in this rink, not yesterday, but this morning. Um, and we camped out along the glass there because I thought that would be good Wi Fi, but um, it wasn't that great. I, so. I, was, I, I received one uh, stream warning Wi Fi. Oh, really? Speed slow. Oh, really? Like, like a text alert. Oh, really? yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. I don't think I got that. <clears throat> I, I have a higher um, security level. Okay, than you do. okay. Your, uh, your tolerance my, for error is nil. No, my administrative powers are greater. <clears throat> All right, Casco Bay. Uh, look to be. Look at the coffee in the audience here. Look at the coffee in the crowd. We got Marco Durso. Um, we got Sarah Taylor. We got Kevin Taylor. We got well, Ice Hawk Super Pants. They person, travel well. The person right? next to the Taylors. Taylors yeah. travel the really Taylors well. The Taylors brought a whole fan club for this one. So the possible games tomorrow are 8 a.m. 2 p.m., correct? That's correct. Yep. Both. Uh, so the top four. <laughs> are we on the air? Yeah. yeah should be on, yeah. Actually, now that you mentioned it, yeah, we should probably do that. I love how you like you never want to spend any of your energy if we're not actually broadcasting. Like, <laughs> like the second we go off, you don't even talk, right? That's right. That's right. But if you are oh, you looking for a, uh... well, has your mother-in-law been watching the games? Because I know she's a fan. I'm, I'm gonna send them out. Right, yeah, now. you're a fan. I'm gonna but make sure. The, I'm, I'm the I'm granny, fan. the granny goon squad, yeah. back at it. All right, so we're thinking uh, this might be a good little perch here. We got some uh, good elbow room here. Everyone's giving us a lot of room. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> I don't know if uh, it's something, something we said or something smells or what. But. I went to a bar an hour ago. Okay. And uh, the entire cast of Gone Baby Gone was was there. Gone Baby Gone. I don't know yeah. what that is. Lots of sketchy people from. Oh really? From Boston, Rhode Island. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, face off comes back to Casco. Casco Bay Mariners, if you're so inclined to the mascots. Well, that's how they, they had to get, they, they came here by boat, JT. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably that's, uh, that's, a little precarious, but they probably came yesterday when the weather was better. That's the most better. efficient way to. Press steps over, oh, step throws that one. Oh, Goalie gets a little luck there. Actually, one of the press uh, goals this morning believed it was uh, maybe a tip in. Yeah. From, uh, from Shook, who's up front. Good to see Croft back on D there. Croft to press. He gets it up to Heslin. Heslin's got three in front of him. He's trying to thread that needle between all the Mariners. And again, Shook, Shook was just getting absolutely terrorized in the, up above the crease there this morning. That one's thrown to Malpe. That hops its way. And he keeps it in play. No one nearby. No whistle. Casco Bay in the zone, but quickly the Ice Hawks dump it. And... That'll be a nice scene call. We'll come down all the way and 
Coach uh, Delmonico will get a change. I heard an exchange with uh, Shook this afternoon. Uh, John Croft showed up. He said, Shook, how many penalties did you have today? And he said, none. And his mom looked at me and he said, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in this, oh, in this game? <laughs> All right, uh, Jesse Maltby in that third time in a row, yes. correct? Did he yeah. play all, all of the first yeah. three games? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I believe I've heard uh, camp is cleared to play. Camp is cleared. So that's a good sign. But uh, Maltby, again, going 2-0 uh, so far. In he's the on weekend. a win streak. Yeah. One streak. So uh, he's, he, uh, he's, it's his net right now. Good catch by Smith, bouncing pass. Smith had a goal. He did the game-winning goal. Oh, follow-up from Kowalczyk. And Kowalczyk finds that one in the back of the net. And we got a nice Hawks goal here early. This is to be... Uh, Casco Bay with hands on head in, in despair. Uh, 141 into the contest. Yeah, Kowalczyk, Pat Kowalczyk's going to light up, I'm sure. She, oh, there you go. She's going to light up the emoji game. Maybe she we, brought her A game for her emojis this morning. Is that right? Oh, my gosh. What were, any new ones? Oh, a lot of new Or just high ones. volume? Oh, I did screenshots. I shared them with her oh, son. Oh, good, and, good. And he was very pleased to see her uh, level of engagement and uh, as, as her grandson, um, making my mom proud. I'm glad to hear it. Maybe you could share with me th those screenshots. I'd, I'd love to see them. I'll be happy to. Okay, thanks. Yep. Okay, we've got uh, Delmonico Kowalczyk-Smith backed up by... Oh, Husk and press. And it's like, that was Kowalczyk. He got trucked. He's he's slow to get up. And he's uh, efforting. Oh, jeez. He's getting back to bench. Yeah, he's favoring uh, that Pascal left Bay. knee. Coming inside and feeding to the front. Really zoom in here, Mike. And the Hawks absolutely swarming Casco. And press is going to get a run on it. Press gets by his opponent. There's some big boys out there, Mike. There's some small boys out there, too. That's true. Good point. Oh, hit from behind to Ayers. And Malpe recognizes that. He tries to make his way to the bench to add the extra attacker. But Fortunately, Ayers, no worse for the wear, popped right up. That was a, That's a good sign. ugly-looking boarding uh, penalty there. The, uh, Always dangerous. Uh, might be a roughing call. It's just him. That looks like he might be taking another one. No? No. Just a roughing call. A rough? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, so that'll put the Ice Hawks on the power play here early, 1.30. Wolf and Press playing D, Croft, Heslin, and Shook, the forwards. Wolf. Shook catches and gets it deep. Croft. That one gets by Wolf, but that'll probably be an ice if it's got enough. And ice is clear enough to last make Last it so. game where this is an ice for some of these players, right? Last might, game yeah, where that's, that's an point. ice. That's a good point. They go to the Federation rule, rule book. Even, even like uh, those uh, split season high school rules are. Uh, yeah, Federation. Gonna, yeah, for yeah the, CHL, the Summer League. Um, a lot of them will be playing as pickup, right? Coming into the spring. All right, Heslin will take the. Gets it to Shook. Wolf hands it down to himself. Back to Shook. Intercepted by Casco Bay. They clear it. Maybe another ice? No ice. No, no ice. ice. Croft collects. To press. Press back to Croft. Croft tries to shoot it on Maltby. <laughs> Good thing you didn't have too much on that. Yeah. <laughs> Heslin with speed into the zone on the power play. 30 seconds remain. Some of these players, first game they've ever played in Rhode Island, JT. That's true. Huh? Good point. The air's different here. Uh, See how the they ocean, adjust. The ocean state. Heslin's got a look. Oh, it kicks off the Gatorade bottle. How did, how did you know that was a goal, JT? Because the Gatorade <laughs> bottle is yep. seven feet away from the goal. And where is it? Where is it on my shot here? It's, it's uh, uh, right behind. It's blocked. Yeah, that's very the, uh, the, the, the Power play goal. The, uh, the power play right there. That was, they were still on the power play. Okay. 
And the goalie has to do the thing that goalies never want to do, which is collect his own water bottle off the I ice. I thought the referee was going to help him out. <laughs> Somebody him. might have his Didn't teammate, you know? maybe. Yeah. Um, Brett was asking, what's this team's record? This team uh, went one and one so far, so the Casco Bay Mariners. Okay. Uh, got the better of the Black Bears, who the Ice Hawks defeated. And uh, I think they lost their first game to the Manchester Flames. Okay. And that was the game right before us as we arrived yesterday afternoon. Uh-huh. So I think they're one and one. We actually just got some uh, updated results that are coming away um, on the New England Regional uh, District website. Yeah, Casco, Casco lost to the Manchester Dunn team, and then uh, they beat they beat the Bears uh, five to three this morning. The Ten o'clock game that was over in West Warwick or West Wildway. Wildway. Yes. It's amazing driving around Rhode Island. Every single place you're going to, there are four different equal ways to get there. <laughs> yeah, that is wacky, huh? And you would think with all the water in the way, there would only be so many ways. Right, right. But yeah, GPS is like, um, I could give you like a thousand ways to do this. Yeah, yeah. And they're all going to be a lot longer than you think they should be. Right, right. <laughs> Ayers. Uh, uh, Ayers, a revelation at forward in the CHC championship game. Uh, <laughs> playing forward again. Great to see. Oh, he's gotten beat up quite a bit. Oh, follow up oh, to the air terrific shot. Terrific job by Taylor. <laughs> Gets the that. short hop there. Throwing that up is Husk. A good safe play by Husk. Chapin for the Mariners. Corrals it, but. Kowalczyk looking for help. Kowalczyk was quick. All of his help was him. skating to the bench. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this hero. Wow. Not all heroes wear wow. capes. Not all heroes wear capes. But some, some do. Bring hot uh, coffee. Batman's Robin comes up. <laughs> well played there. So it looks like that's, I don't think that's half and half. I think that's full cream, JT. Love it. Love it. Yeah. It's a can't real make it too light. Can't make it too sweet. That's what I used yeah, to say. Yeah. <laughs> a real mocha color there. Press. D to D pass to Wolf. Oh, Wolf closes the day. gap. A lot of traffic up front. 10.21 to go here. Ice Hawks up 2-0. Casco bees it behind the net. D-Man chases it up. Point at the center. That's a tall glass of water there, number 10. Ooh, Dorsey. Dorsey's a big guy there. Works along the wall. Comes over to Wolf. Wolf gets it to press. Press up to Smith. Smith tries to angle it out. And Chapin there. Chapin dispossesses him, but not before Wolf comes right to it. Wolf with speed. He comes so up ice. So much acceleration and a couple choppy steps from Mile Wolf. Oh, nice. Miles Wolf. Nice job by Wolf to get that to net. Redirected. Delmonico and Press work together along the wall. Press fires it. Kind of hits the back metal. Is that the, the name for it? The back metal that we need a name for it. Is that it? No, the, maybe the apron. We'll call it the metal apron. The, the, the metal of the apron? Actually, the skirt on this net over here, I was zooming up on the game before, it's like kind of shot. Like no skirt underneath it. So like, you probably could get a puck up underneath it from the side. That asks a lot of the referee to know that the puck didn't go in the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, shot from Shook there, and uh, we had one earlier that was a reciprocal of that with uh, Shook. Wait, JT, what's Leah. a reciprocal? Uh, the opposite, I guess. Oh, sort okay. of maybe. All right. Inverse. Inverse. I'm sure. If only we knew a math teacher. <laughs> did you bring your math teacher friend with I you? I did not. I did oh, not. Oh, really? No. Oh, she's she's, she's at home. Okay. She's on duty, JT. Oh, well, aren't we always? She's, got a, she's in the salt mines. <laughs> Heslin oh, is oh, in. Oh, and shook down and his knees down, but uh, Heslin with it. Heslin carries it over. And bang, bang, play. Uh, Heslin gives it to Ayers. And not good here. Um, sorry, we're watching something else. Just I was watching screen. Shook. Yeah. You, you said that was Hesland Ayers. He was grabbing his knee there. And looks like he might have gotten knee to knee contact with somebody. And he makes his way off the ice. Ice Hawks score on the Hesland to Ayers and Ayers back to Hesland and getting the goalie moving. Oh, is that right? right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Hesland answers that one. Uh, makes it a 3 nothing game. But not good this seeing Shook uh, laboring to get off the ice. And he's on the back bench, and that's never a good sign. He doesn't look like he's in that much pain, but he wasn't using that leg. Uh, no, he wasn't. And, but he did get himself off the ice on his own power. So He might not feel pain. Josh Shook might not, might not feel pain. 
<laughs> he goes right into it. Yes, he does. Jameson Husk smushes the uh, main forward. Taylor works the wall. He gets help from Ayers. Yeah, Ayers has been playing that um, that left wing position all weekend. It's um, good to see. We'll send back to D. Yeah. And uh, we got Croft today, too, in the addition for this afternoon game. That one comes back to the Casco Tendi. Number 33 there. He uh, gets it to his glove and gets a stoppage. I wonder how Coach Delmonico is running the lines here. Is he is he moving airs through the through the lines, or is it four four to make three? I don't know. That's out of one of the lines. Again, if we only knew a math teacher who could do numbers for us. I'm gonna try to pay attention to that, JT. Thank you. <laughs> I just I just watch the game and talk. Okay. All right. That's good. You're good at both things. Um, and try to make the camera kind of go where. Kind of go where is. the puck is. Yeah, sort of. We should insert a microchip in the puck. That would help. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good to see Rainey. Uh, Rainey with the equalizer in what was a tight game with uh, New Hampshire this morning at oh, the yeah. time of the equalizer. Yep, yep. Getting goals. Got a lot on the place. puck and got it high. Yeah, Shem with a whiffer. I can say that again because he's my kid. Yeah. But it was a whiff. It was. We're going to keep him outside. Shaping is going to come in. Comes in that short side and uh, strong side. Let's keep an I'll eye on there. 30. Uh, 38. Yeah, 38, strong, strong skater. Comes back to Malpe. Malpe uh, gets a freeze on that one. He's going to scoop it up. Hand it to the referee. Oh, we got a Casco Bay late entrant. Better late than never. Number seven. Casco. He just turned 13. So he's, uh, Who's that? Who did? Number seven there. No. Okay. <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know. We have, a, we have an icing. That's... You didn't study the birthdays on the roster that hard? Oh, my gosh, Mike. <laughs> I drove through uh, Cranston High School West, which notably is not called Cranston West High School. It's called Cranston High School West. Hmm. Yeah. You, uh, love, you love driving through uh, oh, schools yeah, and yeah. walking around schools. That's why I sent out all those pictures yesterday. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. And it's not West Warwick West. It's West Warwick High School. Right? Fascinating. Yeah. Tiny windows at Cranston High School West. Really? Tiny. Was it designed by a same architect as prison? I, 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 th I think so, like many schools. <laughs> right? You're all occupying a lot of people in a space, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Delmonico achieves an exit, but so let's see. Gillespie uh, throws it back in and looks like that might be a nice and uh, are offsides. I heard the Zamboni runs after the second period in this tournament. It does. It's exciting. Well. It doesn't tell it doesn't. <laughs> what happened? Oh, yesterday's game. Zamboni came out, did two loops, went down the middle, and some kind of pump failed on it. So they're just like, okay, we're done. <laughs> so literally it looked like- Half the ice? Oh, it was terrible. It wasn't even half the ice. It was maybe like an eighth of the ice was done. And it almost looked like they came out to do the ice, like they were just gonna do like a shootout. And it just did right down the middle. It was like a mohawk, right? <laughs> and- uh, But the, the, like, the, the, we're, we're good, right? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> like you had one job, but everything like, something happened. It still team. ran, right? It ran. It did. It was oh, able yeah. to get off. Oh, yeah. it. They didn't have to skate oh. around it. Oh no no no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it was not. It was a pro, it's a propane machine, but there was a battery that was uh, that had that had failed. I guess it was not charged so for a water pump or something. So they just drove it off ice and like, okay, you guys good? <laughs> Out there with the shovels, like picking up all the snow and right, stuff right, right. from the edges and yeah. So coach. Uh, Blake Delmonico showing off his nimble footwork. Sure is. And Coach Brad Camp before the game showing off his skill with a squeegee. Did you see him squeegeeing oh some I, water? I feel like that was like a workman's uh, big hit coming from the wall check to Gillespie. And off the wall. And the Casco fans indignant. And he'll go to the box for uh, Did you see the hand call there? Is that a rough? Is that a board? I didn't see the hand. Bangers are four here, Mike, and minors are 130. Misconducts are eight. I get deep into the uh, packet in my homework. Great job, yeah. great job. There's actually like two full pages devoted to tie-breaking procedures. Okay. It's like a small. Uh, oh, right, so, uh, Shook trusting his own speed. I love it. Yeah, well, he's back out there too. That's good to yeah, see. Yeah, good to see that knee functioning. 
Preston Croft on D. Speaking of knees, I felt like that was the only thing when we were uh, working with these guys is learn to skaters. You bend your knees. Like, it, like that was the only part of the game, you know. We got to bend your knees. <laughs> That's going to run up all the way ice and uh, might, eh, no one's going to get to it, but. At a certain point, it became two-footed turns, too. That's true. Like, you can, yeah. you can engage your inside foot on that turn. You can give it a shot. Well, we did also had T pushes, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like the most critical part of the game. Now it's just like, uh, we're not, we don't have time for that. <laughs> Let's talk about systems. Because, because those previous barriers were, uh, were cleared, right? Yes. All right, Heslin, still a very quiet rink, JT. <laughs> I feel like I need maybe, this. Maybe you should be a little quieter. I'm <laughs> trying, JT. <laughs> you are mic'd up, you know. Yes. All right, Casco Bay moves it on the outside. Shot to Malpy. Big pad save. Okay, the Casco Bay power play is halfway over. Malpy with a strong save. Another. Shot on net, or shot to the wide, just wide. Like. Casco Bay doing a nice job holding the zone. Dorsey gets it over to Hunt. Hunt, Hunt oh, zone player. That's a fortunate a deflection. Yeah, Malpy did not have a look at it. Comes to Heslin. Heslin, Heslin with an angle. Heslin. Wow, Heslin with a dangle on the shorthanded. 14 seconds remaining in the penalty. And, yeah, that's his second, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, one remember? thing we noticed before, his fan club was here, so, and his favorite uncle is here too, which, which, which his uncle says he's his favorite, favorite uncle, so um, <laughs> sometimes puts the show on, I guess. Got uh, celebrities here. Oh, you, you know these people? Yeah, I do know these people. Oh, wow. They look pretty serious, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, Casco is still with the man advantage. Casco gains his own. Shot to Malpy, a little wide. Coming back and around. Press gets it up to Durso. Durso looks, throws it up ice. And he's got Kowalczyk there. And Kowalczyk out of the box. Kowalczyk comes around to Monaco. DeMonico reaches for it. Comes to center. Press. And again, Durso throws it deep. Giving chase is Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk coming around the back. Kowalczyk feeds up to the top. Press, backhands back over to Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk shot from the dot. Durso, Rainey. A lot of pucks coming to the net. And Croft takes one. Oof. Croft shot blocked up front by Hunt. That one hits him in the shin. And he labors to get off. Croft surveys the scene, feeds it up, gets it just past Durso. Durso chases, comes into the zone. Gasco with an exit at center ice. This one comes back around to Durso. Durso just gives it a tap. He's going to get a change with Delmonico. Rainey. Rainey chases deep with five Casco in their own zone. Comes around to Shem. Shem looking for an outlet. Gets it over to Husk. Husk. He goes the other way with it. Husk comes back over to Shem. Shem's got to step over. He does. Gets it to Rainey. Rainey in the corner. A little miscue. Not able to get it to his stick. Comes back to the point man, Chapin. Chapin. Chapin gives it to his big winger. And Rainey escapes the zone. Rainey throws it in. Ayers is going to chase. Tender handles it. Tees it up. Comes the other way. And Husk getting to it. Got Salantandro with the puck. And that one's going to come down. No ice. Thought that might have been nice on the side. Ayers. Sends it the other way. Rainey chases. Good step down by Husk. But that one comes out to neutral. And comes back over to Malpy. Malpy then serves it up to Shem, who gets it up to Ayers. We're in the neutral zone. Coming up to the neutral. And looks like an offsides call. Ayers, just a half step ahead of the play. And uh, we get an offsides call and likely have a face off right there. <laughs> Fake news, his favorite uncle's watching. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> it seems to, be, uh, seems to be a dispute. Um, we do not handle, it's not family court. We, we don't get into those, uh, those situations. I'm just reporting what I was told, right? 
And uh, I think Nolan was here, and he was, uh, he was convinced of that as well. That one comes back from Shook Point. And that one kicked up off the stick of the Tendi. Press throws it in. Press uh, a laser right to the post. And that directs to the right. I'm so sorry, to the left outside. Press again. Gets another shot on it. That one even further off the mark. And coming up ice. And winding up here. Number 38. He's uh, efforting to get down ice. Comes out of the zone. Comes out to neutral. Casco. Moves it through the neutral zone. They gain the zone, but an errant puck is uh, unattended. Quickly captured by Wolf. Wolf, D to D, with press. And Heslin, Heslin's got speed, but he gets pulled off the puck. Nice shot by Durso. Shook, shook shot. Hits the crossbar and the netting up behind, and that's a bar up and grabs the netting probably about 10 feet off the top of the glass, and uh, that'll be a face off inside the zone just to the right of the tender. Yeah, Amy, Amy uh, lighting up the chat here, right? That's uh, favorite uncle is watching, right? Well, there's an uncle here that is watching, so. Not trying to cause internal strife here in the, uh, within the Heslin and Bocampani family. Smith gains the zone, but a little disorganized on that entry. Shem works with Croft. Comes back around. Shem back over. And Croft's got to come back to it. Croft rips that all the way down, but he must have been over the center ice line to avoid the ice. Five seconds remain in the period. And that sound. End of the first, 16 minutes in, and both teams will come back over here to their uh, respective sides. All right, so 16 minutes goes on the clock, second period. And it starts to lead by four. <laughs> Everyone angling for bragging rights to be Thomas Hudson's uh, favorite uncle. Gotta, gotta love that. All right, Casco Bay, he takes the ice, the Dorsey, Delmonico, at center ice. Checking for the goalies, the timer. Yeah, we're playing hockey again, second period. Yeah, played off the goal, ooh, funky bounce there. Well, it hit something other than the glass, maybe one of the side supports, and bounced right back, rejected there. Throwing up ice, and back man calls for it, and front man, even though it went through a lot of traffic there, but. 
Get nice and calm. You come all the way down. All right, so uh, Ice Hawks going from left to right on your radio screen, and uh, Casco Bain going from right to left, scoring or looking to shoot out the goal. Shot. Casco. Shot blocked. Casco with another one. And then Chapin throws that one towards net. Casco Bay with a little reset here. Getting two quick shots in the second period. Wolf, Wolf charging hard. Wolf comes inside. Oh, and he's pinched up against the wall. And shoulder checked up. Smith playing his post. Covers for Wolf, who's advancing and deep in the zone. Wolf comes back out. Delmonico. Delmonico getting crafty. He gets low. Delmonico. Delmonico throws a shot to net. Tendy gets it to his stick. Cues it up for his opponent. Got a hanger here. Number 94 with Wolf. Wolf and 98 go at it. And a little frustration there for Del Sandro. Number 98. And uh, he gets uh, into it with Wolf. Wolf with the puck, though. Wolf gets that big diagonal pass. Up to Ayers. And Casco Bay back on the attack. Maintaining on sides. 47 for Casco. That one comes back around. Number seven, the late entry. Uh, he throws one to net. Looks like the Robin there, number 27, 27. Casco. Casco holding the zone here, getting some zone time. Wolf, Wolf's gonna bring that behind the net. He's gonna try to V it off. Runs well, a parallel to the goal line, but doesn't achieve an exit. And Taylor pursues it. Comes back around, and Malpy calls for the ice. And those with the whistles agree. And we'll have a nice little travel all the way down into the defensive zone for the Mariners. Haslam comes back around with it. He loops it back in, but not before Mariners come out with it. Croft. Croft carries. Croft looking for the drop off, try to get over to Press. He does. Press. Press backhands up to Shook. And comes out of the zone. And we're getting an offsides call as the advancing number 95. That packet there. Cat walks it in and gets a whistle. Two of his players uh, over the blue line. Press. Press is going to carry. Comes to neutral over the blue line. In the zone. Press looking to center. He's got Heslin in the middle. Shook. And Heslin turns this way and that. And he corkscrews his way and loses the puck in the process. Heslin dazzles, dangles, and delivers, and save there. The Tendi, a lot of puck movement for Thomas Heslin. Yeah, he's going quite a few different ways at once. And that delivery right to the breadbasket of number 33, the tender for Casco Bay. Trudy Tree. All right, Kowalczyk in the faceoff dot, and Monaco just outside the circle, looking to sneak in a little bit. Or he plays back. That comes back to Husk. Husk takes a shot, and Smith there, helping to get a little redirection. Shem keeping it at his skates, but play moves by him, and throwing right back in the zone. And advancing four checker to Delmonico. Nice job holding the zone. Good pressure. Ice Hawks, a little kick, kick from the skates. From Shem up to Smith. This time he uses his stick to get it to Smith. That comes over to Delmonico. Oh, that one walks through the paint. Almost able to get an extra stick on it. Delmonico. And that comes over to Casco. Casco gets an exit. 
And nice job, two of those Ice Hawks to come out of the zone as uh, Smith kicks it back in. Going off sides, big slapper. And that one blocked. Delmonico's slap shot. Kowalczyk puts the feed over. Passing lane clogged. Shem keeps it in the blue. And still in the blue. Kowalczyk grabs it, backhands it in. A lot of good puck movement, getting a line change as well. And this will be if Husk maintains the zone. He comes down below the hash marks. And in the process, looks like the Ice Hogs got a line change. Pin and Casco in. Just absolutely smothering Casco in the zone right now. Shem. And Shem losing the zone. And they press the escape button. But I think a long shift there for a lot of those players, black and orange. Rainey. Rainey directs it to neutral. And that one thrown down. 11 3 remaining in the second period. Husk, and a little tippy tap, playing it off the wall, getting it parallel to the blue line. Always like that play. A lot of movement. And puck moving east-west, now north-south. Air shot, air shot is directed high, up over the net. And Shem, Shem angles out his opponent, D'Alessandro. D'Alessandro, and Husk. Now that one got over, crossed in front of the net. So loose puck, might be there. Good job by Taylor. Get it to his skates and get an exit. Moves back out to neutral. Taylor looks to get inside on it. Goal side on that shot. That shot high. Oh, we got a Casco Bay player down, grabbing his head. Oh, weird bounce up. Luckily, Malpy saw it and Shem picks it up. Recognizes the bouncing puck. Kicks it behind the goal. This Alejandro. This, this Alejandro. Number 98. Casco, he comes off the ice. And Casco out of the zone. Throw it back in. Ayers is there. Ayers that winger. He's left wing today. He's been playing that all weekend, so he throws it up ice and uh, it's gonna be an icing call. 9.34 remaining in the second period. Again, we'll get a nice cut after the second and um, get a little intermission built in there. Movement behind the net, below the goal line. Croft tries to get it out. Eslin there. And comes back in the zone, but Croft is going to carry. Croft <laughs> works his way through a lot of traffic. Just absolutely freight trucks his way. And Mack trucks it. Heslin reaches back for it. And Wolf kicks it in. That might have been off, but no call. Might have been able to keep it in there with the blue line. Shook. Shook centering pass. He tracks that one right through the paint. Leaves a streak. Casco with the backhand. Try to get an exit. They do. They're sending one. One on the forecheck. Malpy redirects it over to Croft. I'm sure Malpy, happy to see Croft back in the lineup today. Croft having his first uh, baseball, high school baseball start yesterday in the uh, high school game. So. Playing second base. Croft, sorry. Heslin there. Heslin passes over to the, towards the net. Wolf hangs back a little bit because he's got to mark up the, the hanger here. Martin, number four. That's center ice. Croft throws that one. Yeah, missile. Absolute minute man. Chase it. Heslin, Heslin backhanded. And again, another one through the paint. Wolf. Well, floats that one in. A lot of traffic in front of the Tendi. Behind the net. That beat up along the wall. Croft, Croft, oh! Croft just has a slice of daylight between that puck and the blue line. And that one just by Huss. He's gonna scurry back to retrieve. He's got a lot of attention to Dorsky. 
Delmonico to Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk in the zone. Kowalczyk at the dot, inside, along the goal line. Runs it parallel, shot, throws it to net. Press, press rims it. And Delmonico is going to try to peel that off the wall. Gives it to Husk. Husk throws it by Delmonico, a little wide of the net. Oh, that one hits the post. That one coming in from Rainey, I think. That might be uh, an absolute pinball. In the middle of it all is Smith. Press, press with a heavy one. Loose puck, and almost decapitated there is Smith. Still a loose puck. Goalie without a stick. Comes over to Husk. Reaching out with it. Goalie still without a stick for Casco. And get it by Husk. Another one comes towards. And goalie gets it, traps it in his jersey into his glove. Good sequence there for the Ice Hawks, but up to the task, the Casco goalie without his stick and uh, still being able to track that puck. I think the net was even dislodged at one point. Referees adjust it in, in play. Um, a lot going on there. But results in nothing, no goal. And a couple saves in there as well. Husk, Husk again looking for the tip in. Comes back out to press. Press feeds it along the wall. Digging deep to Smith. Smith to Walchek. And now Press again will step down. He's right at that Zamboni door. There's some uh, funky ice right there. Delmonico, he keys up on it. He's in the low slot. Just to the left of the uh, left of the slot. Husk. Husk is going to walk in. Smith is going to take his post. Coming back around here. And it's Alejandro. Number 98, he's going to run all the way down and press chases back with him. Casco gains the zone, but quickly Ice Hawks go the other way with it. And good block, Casco, and fans to my right appreciate that. Press the shot, and it rises high and runs up, hits the glass behind the net. That one shoveled up by Casco and Taylor traps it down. And that one is going to fall in this way all the way down. And that whistle will be an icing call. 5.22 remaining in the second period. Again, like we said, there will be an ice cut um, for an intermission at the end of this period. And that's, uh, I guess that's a Rhode Island thing too. I was hearing that earlier that um, a lot of the Rhode Island schools, the high schools too, will do that. They'll do an ice cut then. I think it's cough safety measure too for some of the high school games instead of having two ice cuts. Um, wolf shot. Wolf shot a little wide. Taylor back over on that side. Comes back over to Shem. Shem diagonals that into the corner. <laughs> Referee jumps up over that puck, advancing puck. back over and a little scrum at the net loose puck pops out and around comes back to the outside wolf steps in on it wolf in the high slot and tries to walk it down he's got two mariners either side of him and martin was one of them martin coming up ice and wolf comes back to help and support on taylor with the back check casco maintains the zone it's at 22. Martin's on the weak side. Taylor is stripped of the puck, and his D man helps him out. And uh, Wolf is going to skate up. Wolf comes up ice. Wolf, and looks like Rainey might have been stride ahead. And he was in the zone before the puck was. And we call that offsides. All right, we got a face off just outside the uh, zone and in front of the. Ice Hawks bench. Ice Hawks the home team here by virtue of seeding. Uh, they've been the home team for all three. They've been watching this weekend. They've always been wearing the white jerseys, so uh, they hope to maintain that uh, that position throughout the uh, tournament. Heslin, Heslin works it, turns it outside, outlets it over to Shem. And that one's got a little too much muster for Shem to corral. Shem's going to turn it back outside and gets it back to Heslin. Heslin is trying to open up the D-man. Open the zone up a little bit. Heslin says, ah, I gotta come to you, Shem, but now I got too many guys on the wall here. And 
and Dorsey battles in the back with Dorso. Dorsey and Dorso, two of them behind the net. Wolf to Shem. The two of them having played together with their, uh, their middle school team as well, D-men, D-partners. So uh, I think the happy the two of them are both back together. A little jumble in the lines this weekend, but it's one thing we've seen too. A lot of players uh, able to kind of go either way on the ice and uh, take on the situations required of them, coaching staff. And, Ayers, Ayers making his way back up to the uh, forwards. <laughs> that one is uh, ping pongs its way out of the zone from uh, off the stick of Ryder Press. A loud thunk off the uh, sprinkler uh, piping. And looks like we found ourselves another puck. Little forwards to play. Uh, pucks on the ice, face off, shot. Oh, pad saved by Malpe. Nice job by Malpe. Recognize that coming right to him pretty quickly. And Malpe deep in the zone. Or it's up, deep in his crease. And that one's going to come up to Chapin for the Mariners. Feeds it back. Croft comes to it. Croft buries that one deep. Eslin knows it's going to rim up to the left side. He slowly surveys his option. And one option is going to the net, for which we see him do often. Comes to the D-man, he trusts Croft. Croft throws it, and Croft shot. And Heslin says, oh, maybe go the other way. And Alejandro says, I'm gonna make your life a little difficult here. He does, Shook. Shook gets it over. That one pops over the stick of Press. And Press, good position by Press. Angles his body. Makes himself pretty wide, hard to get by along the wall there. Croft, Croft feeds it up, connects with Heslin. Heslin, Heslin pops it up. That's a weird pop fly that stays in play. Heslin, Heslin backhands over, tries to feed it over to Shook. I've seen the two of them connect pretty well this weekend. A lot of hockey. Uh, nine, nine periods of uh, round robin play. We're in our eighth right now. And Malpe says, you know what, let me get a freeze on this. And he does. <laughs> Shaking his head is uh, chasing all the way back is shook. And looks like number four there for the Mariners. And that's the Martin. Just smiles and shakes his head. <laughs> the intensity and shook brings. He doesn't know about the shook shake. He shakes his head. All right, 130 remaining in the uh, second period of play. Shem feeds it over, lays it off the wall. And it's from Husk to Kowalczyk, and Demonico goes up. Demonico lays off a little bit, sees where that puck is going to bounce. Husk. Husk's got a retreat and look to regroup in the neutral zone with Shem. Shem looking for a diagonal to Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk throws it up. Demonico again, same position he was just 20 short seconds ago. And this time his opponent grabs the puck and rims it up along the wall. Kowalczyk works it. Comes to Husk. Husk has got it in a window. He takes a shot. Yeah, Smith was over on the side. That puck bounced over to him. Got to redirect it. That one might be on net, and it is. Malpe, stick save. And with stick twirl is uh, a baton twirler, Shem. Spins the stick before he corrals that puck. And that one gets an exit. Demonico sees it. He tries to win the race. Hunt, All right. he's down for it. Shem feeds up to Kowalczyk. Two of them always seem to find each other pretty well. And last seconds will tick off. And, and held scoreless, both teams, in the second period. So 
Well, that's a second period tie between both, and uh, looks like the Ice Hawks will make their way off to the dressing room first. And it looks like Coach Delmonico talking to the referee about a play down in the corner. And Camp and Malpe, Malpe right now, and Camp. That's some good goalie uh, friendship. Two of them were fun to watch. Uh, good partners. All right, so Casco Bay uh, will also take their uh, make their way off the ice and uh, reset. So we're gonna go to break here. Uh, put a put the, looks like the Zamboni's coming out. Yeah, there he is, the Zamboni guy. So we'll go to mute for a little bit, and uh, we will hopefully. Um, you know, hopefully there will be some final verdict on the uncle battle that is waging on the live chat. Um, hey, Julian, you uh, good to see you, Julian, uh, on the live chat. We got uh, this is the last of the three games for round robin, and then uh, tomorrow there will be two additional games um, for semis and championship. So it goes from eight teams. So we got the eight teams here. So here we are in the American Division, uh, Northwestern again, the Connecticut. Representative by virtue of their win as uh, state champs, and then Maine, Casco Bay. So these two teams right now playing each other, and then uh, Manchester Dunn also in the same kind of pool, and the uh, Central uh, not CTV but the CVT <laughs> Black Bears. Um, so all those teams are playing, and then on the other side, yeah, West Haven. They were the runners up. Uh, might see West Haven again, and uh, Belmont, Manchester again, another Manchester Flames team, but with a different coach. And the Junior Blues, the Rhode Island Junior Blues, they had a big win just before us, and that was a 6-2 win over Belmont. So there's the there's the bracket right now, Northwestern and um, Casco Bay playing this game, and then a couple other games happening, or just happened. And then uh, tomorrow, that'll be the, uh, the bracket as the uh, American 1, National 1, National 1, American 2, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so could be, uh, you know, if you, if you play it right, you got five games to play, but three games in, and uh, that'll send four teams home. And four teams will go on to play tomorrow morning by 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock game. So early game tomorrow, and uh, take it from there. So, and uh, yeah, no nationals on this one. This is uh, tier three regionals. That just, uh, that just ends the show. And uh, that's uh, tier two will have a national, they have national bound teams, but for tier three, uh, New England District does a regional tournament just to uh, decide a winner. And uh, a couple years ago, Squirts had that opportunity, um, and it was two Connecticut teams, both uh, Central Connecticut and Northwest, that went one two.
All right, Ice Hawks uh, to take the ice here. Six o'clock, and uh, we're starting the third period. So five o'clock start. Or a little early. We we're uh, 4:40, 4:45. Camp is going to set up the net. Going to help with Wompy. All right, Gasco Bay takes the ice. Teddy Kowalczyk and Caden, Caden and Taylor. Putting on a clinic over here too is uh, camp, <laughs> camp dancing through a uh, nice fresh sheet of ice, good ice cup. Not sure what this dance party is, but it uh, kind of has broken out and the uh, referee's, referee's ready for it. See if we can get them over on the glass here. All right, I think that whistle means we're getting ready to play, so I'll get back up in the perch here. A lot of water, though, set up, and uh, Ice Sox going to make their way to the bench. All right, get back up in the perch here. I don't know what that dance party was. <laughs> you see that dance party? They were all like scooching around. It was goofy. All right, Casco Bray, they travel well. More on the side here. All right, Casco Bay, they break their huddle. Rah, rah, and pop, pop. There we go. And race it into the zone. Thomas has on number 91. And that roll runs around. Got your, uh, got your button there. Casco throws that one towards net. And we got a goalie change here for the Ice Hawks. Let's just see um, Tristan Camp making an appearance between the pipes. Heslin charges up. Heslin still with it. And looks like here maybe an interference or a holding call. I'm gonna come the way of Tasco Bay and uh, looking for some clarification as the captain. Do we have a penalty um, shot, JT? I don't think we have a penalty shot. I think it's just a hold. I think it was before the act of shooting. Trying to hold uh, Heslin back on that. And, uh, JT, I apologize for my absence in the second period. I was uh, chatting with Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Famers Devin and Trisha Kelly. <laughs> uh, two founding members of the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame. Nice. There you go. Yep. Nice, Rhodey. Well, I was nervous. I didn't see you. And uh, someone had asked where you were before. And we said we would talk to your parole officer to get you out of the state, and um, your parole officer was somewhat reluctant to let you do that. But I'm glad you're uh, glad that wasn't the case because I didn't see you. You're off air for a little bit. John goes up the wing on our power. 
Okay. Uh, on the power play here, 66 seconds remain in the uh, man advantage for the Ice Hawks. Okay, Croft, Heslin, and Shook, the forwards, Wolf and Press. Heslin going to try to win it back, but doesn't. Press can't quite keep it in. Wolf will collect. Hawks will regroup. Wolf to Press. Press back to Wolf. Very close to Tristan Camp. Shook posted up against the boards. Croft to Heslin. Winds up the machine. Heslin through the neutral zone, in with speed. Oh. Oh. And then something uh, happened. Did it get, get checked up by the referee skate? Uh, we, we, like... we, we think he was dispossessed by the referee's skate and therefore <laughs> offsides. Okay. Maybe. We can't see. We don't have the blue glowing puck like they used to have. No. We're, we're right. going to work on that, though. Yeah, that would be good technology yeah. for us to no, Let's have a GoFundMe. We can get the, the blue glowing puck. Because you can see it through the boards, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, Smith in the corner with Delmonico. Kowalczyk, press, aggressive positioning, keeps it down. A lot of multi-sport athletes out here for the Hawks, yep. capable of using all kinds of different body parts. 10 seconds remain in the penalty, five seconds. And that sound from camp counts down the waning seconds of the man advantage. That comes back to Wolf. And it's Alejandro sends that one up. Camp's seen his first action of the weekend right now. He does remember how to do it, though, it seems. Good to see. Ice Hawks get a change, a forward line at least. Carson Rainey, like a bullet out of a gun. Casco Bay gets a dump and chase. Camp never afraid to kind of play up on that and set it up behind the net. You know, he used to be afraid, but he's so so confident and skilled at it now. It's great to see. Yep. I don't know if he was afraid before, but he didn't do it very much. No, he didn't, but the stick handling's gotten really good. Yep. Jackson Taylor tracks back on D. Helps out Ryder Press and Miles Wolf. Wolf, an offensively-minded defenseman. Good to have high IQ teammates to help out. That one up along the netting above the glass and uh, had run out of play and probably going to be a face off inside the zone to the uh, to the right or sorry to the left of uh, camp. Well, if, as you, if you're looking at him, it's to the right. JT. But but it's to the his. To, yes, it's like anatomy. He's, it's, it's, it's it's the the players. You have to put yourself in their position. I can't I can't play goalie, JT. You know that. <laughs> did you get the juicy fruit? Did you find the juicy fruit? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I'm well, gonna juicy get some... fruit's going to move you. Okay. Taste. Taste. For, for, uh, for 38 seconds that it retains its flavor. Oh, there's yard sale right now, and that's what drags that over, and goalie and him kind of uh, <laughs> mash that puck together. Thomas Heslin, uh, I think, has been told that he can only score through his legs. He's only allowed to score through well, his I legs. I did have one of those this morning. Yeah. And he goes this way and that with it. That one runs over to the side. Heslin along the wall. It's pinned up. The opponent. The opponent without a stick. And plays up on him. Still comes back over. Somebody down in front of the net. He's up. Comes to Husk. Husk has got a lot of time, a lot of space. And he finds the one space that matters most, and that's inside the net. I feel and like we should go to a little traffic there. We should go to Marco Durso for a, a goal call. Oh, we should, right? Have, we, have you used that yet? We have not used no, that. I tried okay. to get him over here the other day. All right. Ah, J Mo Husk with the uh, one from the point, and he had a lot of space and uh, walked that in a little bit too. And I want to got to think there might have been some obstructive view. No goals for the second period, but yeah, the first goal yeah. here in the third. JG, that goal led me to uh, <laughs> one of my critiques of the conventional wisdom in hockey. Yep. If you drop your stick, I think you should go get it. <laughs> well, it's funny, like 
we always talk about like, when you're playing your stick and then you have your hands over away from your body as a roughing call. But now you have no stick, so like, yeah. now you're putting your hands up. Yeah. And, like, you're not and doing you a are shoulder check, right? How was that any, I don't know. So all that zone time for the Hawks came with the uh, Casco Bay captain with no stick. His stick was in the neutral zone. Yep. Uh, and I just suspect that things may have been different if he had uh, grabbed his stick and played hockey the usual way. True, but you're, like, it's such a fast game, and even that two seconds to reach down and grab your stick and get repositioned and even to skate away from the play, like it just you're wired not to do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, Croft rims it in. Kowalczyk and Smith forechecking. Wolf at the blue line. I thought in the state game, remember we had a we had a player with no stick and they were doing great without it. I forget what that was. Oh no, it was it was one of the one of the uh, Rumsey games and this one player, he was uh, actually a Providence um, you know, hockey club player, and he was doing so well. Was he using his feet? No, yeah. Like kicking the puck? Yeah, he kicked it up up the ice. AG Oliver, he was a fantastic, uh, fantastically gifted skater. And he didn't even need a stick. We were joking, you know. So. So I've seen that side of it too. Like if you've got a player that can use every limb of their body, right? Well, thinking about those intro to hockey days. Yep. Well, it's the, almost the like soccer, the soccer, soccer yeah. hockey. Soccer hockey, right? I think I still have a couple soccer balls that are all, oh, that one coming down and looks like that's gonna be a delayed penalty and Camp recognizes it. He makes his way to the bench and the touch up there, the captain for Casco. Looks like we're going to have one coming to the box for the Mariners. Um, I will, uh, I'll tell you where we are. Hey, good to meet you, man. You good? Good to meet you. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Devin Kelly, uh, very, very strong skater. Uh, his team just won the... Uh, some level championship at the Winnipesaukee uh, Pond Hockey. Oh, real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Wow. They play in uniforms that look a lot like the shirt I'm wearing here. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Plaid. Is it a jersey or is it a shirt like that? Uh, I, I think it's just a shirt like this. That's great. All right. We got the umbrella going on here, JT. Yep. Well, they are on Croft the power play. Is, uh, at the, the hinge of the umbrella, we could call it. Press. Bit of a misfire. Croft shot. A lot of possession here for the Hawks. Good passing by Heslin. Oh, nice job by Press to keep it in the zone, but then it skitters away from him. It's the Wolf. Press maintains the zone. And Aaron it's good and pesky on the top man there, Chapin. Chapin's going to come off ice with the Casco Bay Mariners. Aside from not scoring, JT, it's been a clinic of a power play, I think. Yeah, kind of is. It's interesting. Um, power play had a hard time with the Vermont team. Is that right? Yeah, the Vermont team chased, like, just like they are kind of right now, chased quite a bit out to the outside. And I don't think the Ice Hawks were prepared for that. They thought they, they, thought they owned the, the, the margins. They were expecting they, a little more reserved uh, penalty kill. Yep. That buck comes down and uh, batted down on edge by Wolf. Ten seconds remain in the man advantage. Horizontal pass. Comes to Heslin. Heslin and, and Camp counting it down. Camp shot. Oh, sorry. Oh, great pass by Heslin to Shook. Heslin really moving the puck today, JT. Both teams full strength. And one of those men at center ice. Hunt. Hunt looks for the shot. Big block. Weird rebound. Again, one of those vertical rebounds. That, that went straight up. That was a high up. pop up. Very high. Wolf and Heslin are in. Wolf shot. Wolf taken down. Heslin with it. Casco gets into the middle. Ayers is there. Disrupting high slot above the hash marks. Sham at the dot. I'm going to carry it over the blue line. Feeds it up to Ayers. That might actually be oh, it's a little tip up. So uh, what, Ison's waved off. Shot. Taylor and does well. Step up by Taylor. And 
Pasco Tendi pretty deep in his uh, crease there, but he's it up to the task. It almost is one of those saves where it's a goal anyways because you're in the, in the <laughs> yeah. net. Well, if the, if the referee sees it, right? Nice. Yeah, right. Nice pass by Rainey, and Jackson Taylor pulls the heel of his stick in so tight to make strong contact and put pressure on the goalie. Taylor still extended faceoff here, wins it himself, avoids the check. Ayers to Shem. Good handle by Shem. Taylor, point, husk, D to D. Excellent catch by Ayers. Ayers back on D for Shem just for the moment. Yep. Shem comes back and occupies that blue line. Oh, Ayers nice sees tip it. by Rainey. Ayers. He's had a prolific offensive day. Ayers flies in his wing, the left wing there. Casco throws it in. Facing down with Shem. Shem goes the other way, gets it to Ayers. Ayers has got to chase up along the wall. Casco. Drags it out to neutral. Paquette, a strong skater for the Mariners. Yep. Oh. Get there. And that was like another Salahandro. He's going to go to the box. And, uh, Ayers again. victimized for a second time. Once again, huh? These wingers, they get a bunch of it. I think it's just frustration there, Mike. I and think so, JT. Taking two. Uh, Blue Cheslin asking. And uh, lined up the numbers there, it looked like, too. So. I'd like to see a strong signal, JT, and I didn't. There we go. There's okay. Cross check. There we go. Cross check. All right. 130. Evidently, I started quite a civil war in the, um, the Heslin family about the FU, the favorite uncle. We have a warring faction here in the rink that's yeah. arguing who the favorite uncle for Thomas okay. Heslin is. And we also have on the live chat. Who are the two candidates? There's four, I guess. I guess there's four candidates. There's two that are here. Oh, wow. Right? And for which Larry Shoppers won it on the live chat. Okay. Right? Shook strong shot on the pass from Wolf. So we, we might have created some strife across the uh, family dynamic. You know, it'll, it'll make them stronger ultimately, JT. I hope so. I mean, everyone wants to be your favorite. Got to go to it, says Coach Delmonico. He might be talking about the Miller Light after this game. Croft sets up camp, behind camp. Mm -hmm. He's going to let uh, so Eslin. Was that a major? Must have been a major. If, uh, oh, the clock has changed. There was 130 up there at first, and yeah, now it's uh, it turned a to a four. Yep. Heslin looking for Shook, another good pass. A lot of time to work with here for the Ice Hawks. Through the feet. Shot, big pad save. Wolf wins the battle. A lot Croft. of good battles in the corner here. Comes to Croft. Oh, Croft tees that one up. Croft vacates his post on the blue line. Come over and help with sport. It's getting physical here. It sure is. Waning minutes here. And I like that with, look uh, by Press. Casco one and one here, so this might be uh, on the heels for the end of the season. No, oh, no, he's coming out. I don't know, that's weird. But there were three minutes left, and now there's no minutes left. Well, 10 and 11 battle. Dorsey. And Dam tracks him over. He closes the downstairs door. Little doggy door there, he closed it. Well, that's a confusing uh, penalty, JT. The skater coming out with a uh, minute 30 to go, or, or yeah. sorry, uh, two and a half to go. Heslin right. lifted that up with his backhand and hit the goaltender's mask. All right, so that was a weird, that was, it was calling like a three minute penalty, now it's done. <laughs> sure, if that was in, in stream, they adjusted the penalty? I think. One thing we know is that that's a skilled scorekeeper because I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to change a penalty in stream. after it's put up and then change it again. Yeah, right. How do you know exactly when you press enter? Or maybe, <laughs> maybe it's. Maybe there's a system. Yeah. All right, we'll have to go back and the uh, tape on that one. Oh, 
Okay, Shem surveys the scene, hits Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk off the boards to Delmonico. Mariners coming into the zone, two on four, if that's a thing. Casey Smith throwing the shoulder. Trying to pull his opponent off the puck. 3.33 remaining in the contest, or at least regulation, Mike. Good point, JT. All right. I'm not sure what's happening with the NCAA women's bracket, but I see Holy Cross keeping it pretty close with Iowa. Is that right? Yeah. At least that was the first quarter, but. Oh, that would be a pretty big win for the Crusaders. One in 16, I think so. Anything they can do to stop Caitlin Clark. I'm sure by now it's old news. <laughs> Kings probably. One way or another. Yeah. But I know there was, uh, I think uh, Thomas Heslin's grandfather was here and he was saying that they were uh, skate work and uh, stick work coupled together. Rainey absorbs the blow. And another one in the middle of Rainey. And oh. And it looks like Taylor, and Taylor puts his shoulder on his opponent. Opponent goes into the wall. No call. Shot, pad save. Yeah, this line's been out here for a while, Mike. It's true, it's been a long shift. Uh, press, chasing into the corner. Mariner pass, doesn't quite connect. Shot from the point, deflection, camp save. Mess cleaned up by Press and Taylor. 157 to go here, likely 157 to go in the Mariners' season. What do you got in oh, the live see, chat, JT? See, what see, do you got I told chat? you, Rob's in there too. He's saying he's the favorite uncle. Oh, wow. They're just battling for like FU supremacy. Okay, know? all right. Are, are we are we being asked to pass judgment? To, to no, no. We, I don't know how maybe, this all started. Well, you know what, JT? We can't decide who the favorite uncle is, but we can decide who the best uncle is. <laughs> do you do you have an opinion you want to share? No, I'm not getting oh. in the middle of all any right. of this. All right. Well, I think it's obvious, don't you? No. Oh, okay. Minute thirty to go. Who's the best uncle? You're gonna you're gonna. JT, when it's that obvious, I can't. Okay. I can't help you out. Okay. Is it Uncle Sam? <laughs> uh, no, but Uncle Sam is lingering in my mind because April 15th is approaching. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah. Heslin wins it forward to himself as he is wont to do. Great pass by Durso. Maybe a little too much mustard. Foot race. Nope. Heslin does incredible work to win that puck and get it in a dangerous position, but the Mariners are going the other way. That's a funky little V comes. Press through the neutral zone with speed. He's gonna shoot it and oh, score it. Oh, holes. Oof. Puts that one in and unassisted there from, he actually just peeled that one off. There's a ricocheted it behind the net and yep. he peeled it up and uh, coast to coast. I believe that's called coast to coast like butter and toast, JT. So there's a lot of coastlines here in Rhode Island, so it actually might not be that far a coast to coast. It could be like, you know, your backyard to your front yard. Right, you know. Less than a minute to play in regulation. Croft to Shem, Shem. Back to Croft, I'm chewing some clock here to Durso. Yeah, playing a little keep away. Backhanded by Shook. I don't know, I think they're trying to score, JT. I don't know about that. Well, maybe Durso it Looked is. like Luca Durso was trying to score. <laughs> well, we scored the, uh, the good of Wi-Fi. And, oh, and Shook staying in the middle. Uh, oh, and we got a penalty coming. Mariners continue to compete. Yeah, That's for sure. sure. And you know, you just got to keep your head on a swivel at the end of this game. Just, uh, some players have nothing that to lose a, right now. So up high cross check is the. Yep. Uh, and this is usually when uh, the coach will put the big boys out there and just let the cool let the cool heads prevail, right? Yep. So. Big bench for the uh, Casco Bay skaters. Yeah. 
bringing quite a few down from the north uh, region. Although I believe they call, well, it's not, that's not the down east region. Down oh, yeah. east is a little, yeah, yeah, little farther going. north, right? Yeah. Down well, east is farther starts, north. It kind of starts in Portland going out, right? Is, that, is Casco, Casco Bay, Bay down east? No. I think it's the beginning of okay. starting to get out there. But right. no, Portland is, there's two mains, right? There's, there's North Main and South Main. There's Paper Company Main and South Main. Right? And potato, paper and potato country. Good point. And South Main is Portland. All right, now, uh, final second, stick down. And we got ourselves a nice hawk win and a combined shutout for the goalies. And they've been practicing that all weekend. Oh, it's only getting better. It's really? It's only getting right? better. <laughs> Do, uh, what is that called? I don't know. We got to give us some kind of name, but and uh, swipe and shimmy. Can we call it the swipe yeah. and shimmy. Yeah, it could be. I like that. Right. Yeah. You swipe shimmy, and you got the shook shaker. And yeah. Yeah, we all yeah. kinds of good ones here. Mm -hmm. So uh, combining for the shutout. Um, first of the, of the three games to achieve a shutout for uh, well, working that's, together. That's got to leave you feeling good going into uh, semis tomorrow, probably, right? Three wins and semis. I think th I think three wins gets you there. I'm pretty sure three out of three is pretty good. Um, if so, it doesn't, then. So we're, for our viewers, um, yeah, we're looking at an eight o'clock game tomorrow, and I think we're here in Cranston again. Is that if, right? If uh, we're American one, probably by virtue of uh, yeah, record, okay, right? Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's still working at it. There. Oh, we got a couple other ones here. Delmonico is working on one with uh, Malpi. I, I think and Blake Delmonico has a secret handshake with like. 150 people. Does he? Yeah, like individual <laughs> choreographed handshakes. All right, so uh, final here, six nothing, and uh, now it's time I think uh, get back to the hotel for the dinner and uh, take it from there. Right. Okay, well done, JP. Right, Thanks well for carrying done. the load uh, the last last three games. Yeah, you all, you always do, really. The load, yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, you're the you're the you're the straw that stirs the drink. There we go. Yeah. Coach Heslin and uh, Coach from the other side. Exchanging words, JT. Things are things are getting heated. No, I think they're very are they, close. JT, JT, I'm. Oh, I'm here. Oh. I just I don't oh. want there to be a fight. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you, Mike. Oh, did I show you? Did I show you my. Whoa. Did you see that? Oh, you didn't know about that, did you? Alyssa mentioned it to me. Yeah. That looks great. Thanks. You Thanks. look really good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did it for. Uh, Cancer research, you know? Okay, nice job. Money. Yeah, it's actually, I need to have. I bet you do. <laughs>